what are the different components of a machine learning system? Hi, Zad. Pleasure to be here. Um, so before we go into machine learning systems, I want to give a brief primer on machine learning in general. So what is machine learning? It's a set of algorithms that learn from data instead of being explicitly programmed. So two main parts. One is the algorithm. Second is the data. And I'll come back to why that's important. Machine learning is used in uh, many fields, for example, spam detection, product recommendations, object recognition, fraud detection, forecast modeling, and so, so on and so forth. So um, when, when I say you, you want to train a machine learning model from data instead of being explicitly programmed, imagine a spam classification model where it's virtually impossible for every spam email in the world to be um, labeled by a human being. So that's why you have to give data to machine learning model to automatically learn what the behavior of a spam email is. Now, I uh, further split machine learning system into six parts. Um, number one, data collection and analysis. Uh, so data is probably the most important part of a machine learning system. Um, one of the most important, if not the most important. And this means you want to collect your data from multiple sources. It could be structured, unstructured. Uh, you also want to perform analysis on top of it, um, understand what the data is, the range, the scale of values, and the quality of the data. Um, second is feature engineering. So once you have this data developed, um, before putting it into a machine learning model, you have to do some work on top of the data. So for example, if you're building a spam classification model, this could be uh, developing features like the subject line or what the text contains. If you're looking at a, a stock market, a stock value prediction model, a forecasting model, that your features could be um, historic prices of a stock or market indexes or market volatility um, or political you know, um, scenarios. Um, so once you have features developed, um, then comes the part where you're uh, ready to stick it into a model. Now, machine learning has matured so much in the past few years that this model development part is actually probably the easiest part in the whole pipeline. There are uh, very mature machine learning uh, libraries, pipelines, um, which require a couple lines of code and you get state-of-the-art machine learning performance. Um, so this is probably one of the easiest parts. Then comes uh, model evaluation and validation. So once you have built a model, you want to know what the quality of the model is. Is it performing well on the business use case that you built it for? Um, and uh, basically evaluation and validation gives you the direction of the machine learning model. Uh, what are you optimizing for? For example, if you are building a fraud detection model, you would want very low false negatives and you're okay with a few false positives. Um, labeling. Then you have model deployment and serving. So once you build the model, you want to put it into a state where it can be used for live predictions. Um, and then uh, you want to build a pipeline around it, which continuously deploys and serves based on the scale that you want it to be serving on. Um, and then last but not the least is monitoring. So you want to be able to monitor your model for different metrics. Um, and make sure that your model is performing as expected in production. Um, and um, it's not moving away from what you saw in your offline model development. That's very important in uh, machine learning systems. 